I sold my car for £100. I didn't even have a job. I would say quit my job, I didn't even quit a job. Uh, and went, came to be through about 160 euros uh, and stayed for six months. <laughs> Yeah, Ibiza was really kind of funny. I, I'd never come, and then out of uh, nowhere, uh, the, this club, DC10, Circle Loco, had asked me um, if I'd like to become the new resident. So I was I was introduced and asked to come on the uh, onto the island, and I just kind of instantly fell in love with it. It's a, it's a place that it's a lot more than just clubbing. The first time I came to Ibiza, I was booked at this club on MySpace. Party was called Circle Loco. They said play an underground set. I came and I played a hard techno set at like 6.30 p.m. and the promoter pulled me down while I was in the booth and said, we can't maintain this kind of energy. And I was like, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? I'm already down the road. And so I just went for it and I never got booked at that party again. First experience in the island was Dan Genasia who offered me for my birthday a ticket to come. He said, man, it's impossible. What? You don't know Ibiza? You have to come. I came here in the late 90s uh, when it was very, it, I would consider it more the wild, wild west. Back then it was a very free and easy place. I sort of got hooked and I ended up staying here for, since then. For people who don't know a lot about electronic music, they can come to Ibiza for EDM and at the end, go to an underground party and just discover their type of music. In America, EDM has helped the underground. In Europe, not so much. In America, people just needed to figure out what was going on. So EDM was like super helpful. They were like, hey, here's some shitty music. Okay, here's the good stuff, follow it. But in Europe, they were like, we already knew about the cool music and now you're bringing in the shitty music. Yeah, it's, there's this funny idea how tracks used to get broken some years ago and they'd be like the track of the summer or the, and now you get that less often and it's kind of I think partially on the fact that you know they don't make them like they used to truly. <laughs> oh, sorry I just got thrown off. They're kind of in a more disposable culture but I, my interpretation of playing music on the island is playing a mix of, of tracks from now and the past. I am in love with DC10. It's my home, it's the club that I find to have the, the most educated crowd, as well as the curation of the artists. And really, it's like, a, as a DJ, an open canvas for me to paint. Wild stories, well, can't really say many of them in front of the camera, but uh, getting arrested at a villa party by a full SWAT team. The police broke my ribs, spent three nights in the cells, went to court Monday, spent three nights in prison. Because I've not done anything wrong, so I was like waiting to court with a, with a grin on my face, like this. And it was just the front page of all the Spanish papers and me going like that. And above it, it collapsed so. <laughs> Do I even want to mention the last time I was here? No. <laughs> There's some things that we can't talk about, but some things we can talk about, like the time I woke up on the side of the road with a sign close pinned to my shirt that said, these are the instructions to the closest village. And I, went on a three-day excursion and ended up like in caves, jumping over walls, getting chased through forest, ballroom dancing with the hotel owner's wife. We heard about this after party and they wouldn't let anyone in security, so we actually managed to sneak in around the back of the villa. It was a bit like clicky and they were kicking people out. So this woman came up to me with some champagne and trying to be like discreet, it's like, oh yeah, blended in like. And because of the bubbles, I, I don't know, so we drank the champagne and literally spat the whole thing all over her face. There's two ways you can experience the island. Experience A, grumpy, I just want to watch Game of Thrones and I suck. Experience B is I'm just gonna go with the flow and get in trouble and get all fucking wasted and get lost and go to like seven parties in a row and never and miss my flight. You want to go with experience B every time. Well, people always say like this question, like, and people always say it, it does my head in. It's like, oh, a beef was not how it used to be. Back in my day, a beef was like this and that, but at the end of the day, nowhere stays the same. Yeah, it might have the VIP areas and this and that, but at least it keeps those people that are in one place. It's not like it was like 10 years ago, but nowhere's like it was 10 years ago. You know, my mum and dad don't have a black and white TV. They have a new TV, it changes, things change. As soon as one door closes, another one opens, and that's the same with clubs, same with nights. And if you put boundaries up there, especially if you're creative, then you find that you push these people into a situation where they have to think even more creative and think out the box even more. There's some kind of magical vibe on the island where everything will just come together for you. 